Welcome back. Today we explore how to configure static IP and wireless configuration on a Netlink modem. Let's begin. Open the Netlink dashboard. Enter your username. For me it's admin. And enter your password. Next, enter the mentioned verification code. Then click Login to access the Netlink control panel. Now, you start the Netlink configuration using a static IP, click Network section, connection name as Add New WLAN, select Mode as a root, and choose IPv4. Enable static IP address. Enable the LAN. And enter your VLAN ID. Select 802.1p as 0. Then, enter your IP address and default gateway. I will hide my IP address and default gateway. I have shown the example of an IP address and default gateway. Then, set primary DNS and secondary DNS. Select service mode as the internet. Enable your binding ports. Then, click apply button. And go to the status section and click the WAN Info option to see the status is up and the static IP is configured. Next, move to Wireless Configuration, go to the Network section. Click 2.4G. Choose Band as 2.4 GHz, B plus G plus N, then Mode as an AP and enter the SSID whatever you want, I give SSID as FTTH. Then, select the channel width as 20 MHz. And the channel number is auto. Then, click apply changes button. And move to WLAN security, now you see the SSID type changed as a root AP FTTH. Then, select the passphrase in pre-shared key format and enter the pre-shared key of more than 8 digits. Then, click Apply Changes button. Let's move into the 5G section. Choose Band as 5 GHz, A plus N plus AC, and Mode as an AP. Enter the SSID whatever you want, I give SSID as FTTH 5G. Then, select the channel width as 80 MHz. Click Apply Changes button. Next, go to WLAN Security. Now you see the SSID type changed as a root AP FTTH 5G. Select the passphrase in pre-shared key format. And enter the pre-shared key of more than 8 digits. Click Apply Changes button. And go to Wi-Fi Lists. You see the SSID type changes as FTTH and FTTH 5G. Next, move to the LAN section. Change the IP address 192.168.2.1 and change the start IP address 192.168.2.2. Also, change the end IP address 192.168.2.254 as shown. Then, click Apply Changes button. Next, check whether the changed IP address working or not. Enter the changed IP address on the web. Open the Netlink dashboard. Enter the username as admin and password. Also, enter the mentioned verification code. Then, click Login to access the Netlink control panel. That's it. For more videos hit subscribe and bell icon.
Thank you for watching.